blind. I've been doing all kinds of activities to stay in shape. I uh, enjoy working out and training. There is life after vision loss. You know, it may not seem like it at the time, but uh, with a little assistance, pretty much anything is possible. A rock on the left and another rock on the left. I did the uh, Machu Picchu hike. Went to Colorado, I think four or five times for a hiking and I also uh, enjoy cross-country skiing. Certainly you can live a full life with any kind of disability. Vision loss uh, started in my late 20s. Both my mother, grandmother, and uh, one of my mother's sisters had glaucoma. I thought it was probably a good chance I might be getting it. So after 10 years, uh, my left eye uh, started getting worse. I uh, continued to function uh, with one fairly good eye up until about 2006. After I lost vision in my second eye, I initially went through a, a time of depression for about six, seven months. I, I never even would leave the house. Uh, I was just, you know, thinking that uh, my life was over. I wasn't going to be able to, you know, really do anything anymore. I uh, happened to be uh, looking at a uh, well, YouTube video. There was a guy named Eric Weinmeier. He's the only blind person that's ever uh, summited Mount Everest. When I uh, heard his story, uh, that kind of gave me a little kick in the butt to get up, get out of the house. Photo what, please? Photo what? Prior to uh, my uh, glaucoma and my vision loss, I did a little bit of hiking. I mean, not to the extent that I did uh, since then. I've been able to uh, take those on after my vision loss and you know, found ways to adapt and to uh, be able to accomplish those and have a, just a really good time doing it. Uh, I got involved uh, with a group called Achilles International and I knew that they uh, you know, assisted people with disabilities to basically go out and do any kind of physical activity that you want to do. And so once I got involved with them and started doing some of the activities with them, that's when I uh, started thinking more about that image of you know, seeing Eric Weinmeier climbing Mount Everest started coming back to me. Yes! This Hiking into Machu Picchu. We knew that we wanted to do roughly a four or five day hike. And it turned out that the, uh, the classic Inca Trail, and that was the one that I really had my heart set on. Uh, it's a four day hike. Six. As we uh, reached the summit, uh, you know, I, I guess I wasn't even aware that I was getting there. And then all of a sudden Bernie says, you made it, Michael. A lot of the other hikers had been passing us, and so they had intentionally waited at the top for me to make it up there. And I uh, you know, actually started you know, tearing up at, when I heard them clapping and applauding for me there. I started a blog, seenobarriers.org, primarily for the blind, but also really anybody, uh, just to empower them. What I have most passion for, especially since I've retired, uh, started a uh, nonprofit organization called iBug. We started uh, helping uh, blind, visually impaired to learn how to use the different Apple products. And so, you know, just being able to do all those things, working out, traveling, uh, spending time with my family, people sometimes are blind, other people with disabilities uh, think they might not be able to do things, but uh, certainly you can live a, live a full life.